This is Movie Recapped here. In this video, I will recap one of the romantic movies from 1967, titled, Belle du Jour. So without further ado, let's get started. The film begins with a husband named Pierre Cerisi and his wife Severine riding in a cart somewhere. Pierre suddenly begins arguing with his wife and orders the driver to stop the cart. When the cart comes to a halt, Pierre drags his wife out, but she refuses to get off. Then he called his men, who dragged Severine from the cart and tied Severi with a rope and clapped her mouth. Pierre instructs his guards to strip her naked and then slash her with a knife. The guards performed what Pierre instructed, but Severine was not in any discomfort. She was even enjoying what was going on around her. Another guard arrived and began seducing Severine, which made her feel pleasure. In another scene, we see Severine and her husband, Pierre, in their bedroom, and it is then that we realize Severine was dreaming, and the entire scenario was a dream. Severine suddenly instructs her husband to kiss her. They kiss, and after a while, Severine pushes her husband away from her and returns to sleep. Despite the fact that they are married, their beds are separate. The next morning, Severine and her husband are seen sitting in a restaurant with their friends. Severine doesn't like the friend of Pierre's, named Henri, because he has a bad eye on her. After some time, Severine was seen in a car going back with her friend, who was also the wife of Henri. She told Severine there are some rich women in our society who sleep with different men not only for money but because they feel good by intimating with different men. Severine takes interest and asks her friend if this is really true. Her friend says not only some but there are a number of rich girls who feel good by doing this act. Severine visits her home and inquires of her husband whether he has physical connections with wealthy women. Pierre said that he used to do such things before being married and had this experience. After hearing this, Severine became upset and rushed out of the room. Severine went to tennis practice the next morning, where she met Henri. Severi decided to go to the address that Henri had given him the next day after overthinking it. When she arrived there, she was welcomed by a lady named Madame Anaïs, who was in charge of that location. Anaïs describes the norms and surroundings of this place. A variety of guys come here, and you must deal with them all. Severine informs Anaïs that she cannot come at night, but only at noon, and that she must leave by 5 p.m. After saying this, Severine returned. Before returning home, Severine goes to the hospital to meet her husband Pierre, as he is a doctor. She asked her husband to go somewhere out with her today, but Pierre refused by saying he had a lot of patience today. After hearing this, Severine returns to Madame Anaïs. When Anaïs asks her for her name, she says I cannot tell you my name, so Madame Anaïs gives her a fake name, Belle de Jour, and then she introduces her to different clients. Severine was in a room with a fat man and some young females who were already serving him, but when he saw Severine, he ordered all the other girls to leave and began loving Severine. Severine was nervous because it was her first day here. She wanted to leave, but Anaïs informed her she couldn't. Following that, the client began flirting with Belle de Jour, which she also enjoys. Severine arrives home before Pierre, and after taking a bath, she burns her underwear, so her husband doesn't find out. When Pierre gets home, he invites Severine out to supper but she declines, stating that she is not feeling well today. Severine took some time off and did not see Madame Anaïs for a few days, but when she returned to Anaïs' house, A inquired, why are you showing up after such a long period? There were a lot of customers waiting for you. Anaïs then presents Belle de Jour to a strange customer. That client desired intimacy by making Ben de Jour his mistress, and he desired to be a servant. Severine was a newcomer, and she was absent for so many days. As a result, she has no idea what the client wants. Madame Anaïs sends another girl with that man and instructs Belle de Jour to stand back and observe, so she may learn how to satisfy her clients. Belle de Jour felt strange after observing the girl beating the man with a knife and assumed that everyone was getting crazy here. After that, Madame Anaïs introduces Belle de Jour to a Chinese client. After entering the room, he shows Belle de Jour a vibrator, which makes her pleased, and they both have a great time. The next day, Anaïs introduces Belle de Jour to an old man who wants to take Belle de Jour to his home. He takes Belle to his big palace-type house, where he tells Belle de Jour to wear a transparent dress, and after that, he lays her down in a coffin and starts crying until he gets down on his knees. After that, he asked his guard to throw Belle de Jour out of his home. It was raining heavily outside, so Belle de Jour asked the guard to let her stay until the rain stopped, but he threw her out of the house. At night, Severine was laying in bed with her husband. She told Pierre that she was feeling so happy to be with him today and that she loved him. After a while, a scene from Madame Anaïs's home is shown in which two men fight because they both want to spend their night with Belle de Jour. 
Marcel was one of the men, while the other was a buddy of his. Madame Anaïs instructs Marcel to bring Belle de Jour with him, but his friend argues he saw Belle de Jour first and has the right to take her, but Anaïs replies let Marcel take Belle de Jour. When Marcel and Belle de Jour spend the night together, Marcel declares his love for her, and Belle de Jour begins to like Marcel as well. The next day, Pierre takes Severine somewhere for a vacation, but Severine is not really enjoying the vacation with Pierre as she misses Anaïs's house and Marcel. Marcel, on the other hand, is concerned about Belle de Jour's absence because he cannot wait any longer to spend time with Belle de Jour. Marcel calls Madame Anaïs and asks her if Belle de Jour came back. Anaïs tells Marcel that she is back now. After hearing this, Marcel ran to Madame Abbe's house and asked Belle de Jour about her absence. She tells him everything about her husband, but Marcel tells her that she is mine, and I cannot see you with any other man. Belle de Jour tells him if I was not present, you can enjoy it with other girls here, but Marcel said he couldn't spend time with other girls because he likes her. Marcel and Belle de Jour start intimating together, and after that, Marcel asks Belle de Jour to stay here tonight, but Belle de Jour refuses by saying that she loves her husband and she cannot betray him. One day, when Severine was at Madame Anaïs's place, Henri came there and took Severine with him into a room. Severine becomes shocked to see Henri there and asks him not to tell Pierre anything to Pierre. She also said if he wanted to do anything with her, she is ready, but Henri refused and says that he liked Severine from the start, but now after watching her doing this bad thing he does not like her anymore. He also tells Severine that he will not tell anything to her husband. Henri then left, making Severine feel ashamed. Severine informs Madame Anaïs that she will be unable to work here any longer. Madame Anaïs tries to manipulate her by asking if she has any problems she can tell her about, as well as wanting to have her phone number and address, but Severine refuses because she knows that if she tells Madame Anaïs about her address, she will never let her go. Severine went back to her house. On the other hand, Marcel sends one of his friends to follow Severine and note where she lives. His friend follows her to her home and notes her address. After some days, Marcel comes to meet Severine and, after watching her pictures with her husband Pierre, he becomes anxious and starts blackmailing Severine, saying that if she does not meet him every day, he will tell her husband Pierre everything about her. Severine informs him that she will tell her husband everything because she wishes to repent for her sins. When Marcel hears this, he leaves the house and waits in his car with his friend until Pierre arrives. When he sees Pierre, he shoots him with a gun, and when Severine hears the sound of gunfire, she rushes to her husband and takes Pierre to the hospital. On the other hand, Marcel is being shot by the police because they saw him shooting Pierre. As the police shot Marcel, he died on the spot. Meanwhile, Severine and her friend Henry's wife were waiting for the news in the hospital when doctors came and told her that Pierre was alive, but he had lost his eyesight and his body could not work anymore. Henri comes to meet Severine and Pierre and tells Severian that Pierre will be feeling guilty at this time because he is in critical condition and cannot take care of his wife. Henri said he has to tell everything about Severine to her husband now because he has been feeling guilty about this. Henri goes to see Pierre and tells him everything that has happened to Severine in the last few months. He returned after telling him everything. Severine approached Pierre while he was crying. Severine sat in front of Pierre and began her imagination again, this time seeing Pierre as perfectly fine and telling Severine how much he loved her. I hope you enjoyed the recap. Check out our channel for more videos like these. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to our channel and comment on how you found the video. See you soon.